Good morning, everyone. Greeting from Conakry, Guinea. The, the time here is um, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, Conakry, Guinea time. Australian time is um, 4.38 in the afternoon. So I have a body, I have still a clock. My body clock is still Australian. I just arrived yesterday in Conakry from Australia to Dubai. I stopped over in Dubai. I had a, several meetings in Dubai. I went to downtown Dubai. I saw a lot of jewelry shop, mostly are Indian owned. And there's so many foreigners window shopping, buying jewelry. I walked in into the shop. I asked the manager, hey, you have a beautiful jewelry here. Where are the gold coming from originally? From Africa. So there are so many buyers there looking to buy this kind of watch, right? And buyer buy necklace that is finished product. So Dubai is a hub. Dubai is the main source of manufacturing of jewelry. Now 98% of gold coming from Africa. 50% rough diamond coming from Africa. So I had a meeting uh, yesterday. Uh, I stopped over only one night in Dubai because my time was really budgeted. I met seven people. Out of seven people, only two qualified. The rest are asking CIF. And then I give the meaning of four joker buyer excuse my language and i told him do you understand what is the meaning of cif bernard good morning greeting from baharat greeting from conakry guinea i'm in the hotel okay someone, someone call me oh. Yeah, good morning. This is Philomena Ford here. Whom I'm talking to? Hmm? Your name is? Hello. Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. I'm on live at the moment. I'm live on Facebook. What's on Facebook? I am live. Okay? Okay. Bajad, good morning. Greeting from Bajid, greeting from uh, Conakry, Guinea. Bharat, good morning. My long trip was really hectic, but even though I have hectic schedule, I have time for everyone. I wake up very early. My body clock, I thought it's already morning, but it's really evening in, in Conakry now. It's already morning, 6 o'clock in Conakry. So I'm awake because my driver will pick me up. We're going to have breakfast. Now, going back to this Conakry, mm -hmm. while I'm here to all buyers, take advantage. The price of gold today is $51,000. Mm -hmm. Most of you asking CIF, most, 98% are joker buyer, 98%. When I was in Dubai, I asked the buyer, do you understand what is the meaning yeah, very good morning, Bharat. I under I asked them what is the meaning of CIF, mm -hmm. and this buyer from Dubai, they are Indians, and I told them, you know what, the meaning of CIF is cost, insurance, and freight. To me, you don't have the money then, because you can only afford to pay shipping cost and insurance. How about paying the gold? You cannot just pay the shipping cost without the gold. Mm -hmm. That was my explanation to them. Seven people, four rejected, only two qualified. Mm -hmm. So I told them, I think you're wasting your time. And I'm very busy at the moment. I don't have time to muck around because I only stopped over in Dubai just for the particular person. But because I put uh, on, on social media that I'm coming to Dubai just overnight. I stay in Holiday Inn uh, close to that uh, close to the airport, the Terminal 3. Now, I'm in Conakry, Guinea right now. So they reject, I rejected them. Now, I'm flying to Sierra Leone because I have a buyer that paid my extra service 
I am not an agency here. I am helping both buyers and sellers to facilitate. Now let's talk about Conakry because I'm in Conakry. I'm going to stay longer here. We have gold in Conakry. The purity, 95.96. The carats, 22.54. Uh, who is this? Okay, just a moment. My, just bear with me. Someone is missing. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. I'm live at the moment. Hmm. Don't worry. I would be in the airport. I mean, okay. Okay. All right. So just a moment. I was being disturbed. I was being disturbed by uh, my buyer that uh, I'm going to welcome them. Mm -hmm, two of them. Now going back to this Conakry. Uh, they are. Okay, just bear with me. Uh, uh, I heard what else is supposed to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now going back. Sorry, I have. I was been interrupted. My buyer. I'm. I'm going to fly to Sierra Leone to welcome my buyer. Mm -hmm. Now going back to Conakry, the full corporate offer is in here. Uh, they are international buyer. I want you to pay attention. If you're asking me the carats, the purity, you are not trading. You're not. Because everything is already on social media. I'm the one who introduced this to say, to show my face. And you people looking and searching and floating around thinking you can get the gold. Now, there is a buyer here in Conakry right now. He is meeting me 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's morning here. I'm going to have a look on what time is in Conakry, Guinea. Because my body clock is still Australian time. Just bear with me. Okay. Conakry time. Mm -hmm. uh, the Conakry time at the moment is... Okay, it's 6.45 in the morning, okay, so my driver is still asleep. Mm -hmm. I've been provided by a driver by a company, okay. I am a seller's mandate. At the same time, I'm facilitating you. At the same time, I'm helping buyer to understand. You are buying money. You are not buying potato here. You are buying money to make money. And if you are a small timer asking CIF, going back to the CIF issue here, when I was in Dubai, and I told this buyer, I think you are wasting your time. You've been searching and saying, they are all brokers. So, oh, we are a buyer, bring the gold. No, we don't bring the gold to you. You have to travel and see, inspect, taste the gold, then you pay bank to bank. We don't bring gold to Dubai. We don't bring gold to Hong Kong. We don't bring gold and diamond anywhere in your country unless you pay. You are buying money. Your money, your paper money has no value if there is the solid money, which is gold. So we can exchange your paper money and the solid money. I would be in the office. I'm going to do the presentations of gold. Okay, I would be in the office. I'm here in the hotel right now because it's only 5.46 in the morning. So my driver is still asleep. Mm -hmm. My driver will pick me up around 8 o'clock because we're going to have a breakfast here mm -hmm. in the hotel. I'm staying in the Five Stars Hotel. So in Dubai, there are so many joker, fake buyers. That is the reason why you buyers, you are the one who tarnish the name of Africa. You're asking for CIF. You're asking bring gold to Dubai. Mm -hmm. There are only two buyers that qualified when I was in Dubai. Two. And the question of the buyer, they're all Indians. And um, the question of this Indian, what is the guarantee? I said, well, the guarantee is very simple. Show me your, your proof of fund that that guarantee that you will not default the payment. 
the guarantee I will welcome you, I will take you to Africa while I'm here in Dubai. Come with me. But before I'm going to request my head office to issue the landing visa, show me your business license. Show me your importation license. Show me your passport, your ID picture, and your bank statement. Then I will believe you're a buyer. Or he just just wasting time. So you know I have a buyer, so therefore you are not a buyer. I told this um, this buyer in Dubai. I told him in the beginning you said you're a buyer. Now in the middle of a conversation, I strike one. The question I, I ask, um, strike one. I said, well, in the beginning you said you're a buyer. Now you have a buyer. To me, you're not a buyer then. So you're a liar. You're deceitful. You're a scammer. That's what I said to this gentleman in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So failure. Now going back to that I'm here. My buyer is sending me because he's boarding the flight. Just a moment. He's boarding flight from Sydney. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just bear with me. I'm going to send a message. So I, I, I give my client important. Why? He's paying my extra service. And you guys, you're just wasting your time. My time is money, and you are you are in Dubai. You're just wasting your time, right? When I travel, the buyer pay my extra service, so I have to nourish my customer. I have to service my customer in order for the customer to get what he's looking for. Now, going back to this Conakry, I'm here in Conakry. Uh, after Sierra Leone, I have to return back to Conakry. I only stay in Sierra Sierra Leone for a few days because my buyer is buying cash. Mm -hmm. From Australia, huh? He's not scared to travel to Africa and he fly to see me in Brisbane just to meet me, right? And he said, I'm confident when I'm going to fly with you, Wilhelmina. I said, Well, send me money to buy my ticket. I did charge my extra service. To so you buyers who are watching me, if you cannot comply the requirements that we required from you to me you're not a buyer now going back to this um conakry there are two buyers here in conakry he's been stuck in conakry he's looking for cheap price uh -huh. he didn't get the gold and he's meeting me three o'clock the same hotel i told him i will meet you in the coffee shop let's talk business and he's asking me how much is the price forget about the price i don't know you yet mm -hmm. i don't know you i want to interview you before I'm going to take you to the office. Mm -hmm. My seller owned the building. And believe me, guys, if you listen to Wilhelmina, you will be a winner. Believe me. You are all scammers. To me, you are all scammers asking, bring gold to your country, bring gold CIF. To me, you're a scammer. You, are, you don't have the money. You're going to leverage. This is money you are buying. 10 o'clock, I would be in the office. I'm going to show you the gold produced by my seller and I'm going to challenge you while I'm here in Conakry, Guinea. Show me that you have bank statement, the amount of your val the value of your order. Our minimum order is 20 kilos. We don't, we don't, hi Sam, I'm here in Conakry, Guinea and I'm going to be in Sierra Leone because I have the buyer from Australia, gold and diamond. Now, I don't muck around anymore. This is 2020. If you are a buyer of gold, I don't care who you are. Oh, validation, oh, do research, oh, invest, investigate. I will investigate you. I am here in Conakry, Guinea. You know, uh, today, I, I, my body clock is still Australian. There was an investor in the office. I was sitting down in the boardroom. My CEO said, well, let me not come sit down and listen. Immediately, I said to my seller, don't sign the contract. Yeah, the investors is from Middle East, and I told my seller, my gosh, this investors is hungry. Don't sign the contract. Let them buy the, the gold. Then he will come back. When he's happy, he come back. <clears throat> now, I will explain to you guys on how you're going to invest later on. Going back to this, uh, Konakri, this is two buyers here. He's going to meet me. He couldn't meet the criteria. He has a license, okay? And he has export license. And I told him, you have an 
export license but you don't have the supply how could you open an office how could you open the store if there is no products uh, to get the license to only seven thousand mm dollars -hmm. so now he's begging me to get the gold because he has a buyer and he's looking for cheap price and i told him you know we don't sell cheap price here our selling price is premium tax and close it take it or leave it you can have it so he said to me madam please help me i said well our minimum order is 20 kilos but i will see you if you convince me today is saturday i told this um, buyer i will see if you convince me then i will take you to the office mm -hmm. i'm staying in the five stars hotel mm -hmm. so two buyers can you imagine one from united kingdom and one from dubai his eyes is bigger than a dollar he's asking for cheap price and i told him don't you know that the gold today is fifty one thousand dollars and you're asking cheap price mm -hmm. and you're buying money to make money and your paper money has no value right and the gold is money gold has many uses mm -hmm. so these two buyers was really surprised and he was been talking to different fake offer they're all brokers mm -hmm. I wake up uh, 12 o'clock in the evening Australian time because my body is still Australian time, the, the clock. So when I look at on, on Conakry Guinea, it's still very early. So my driver is picking me up because I'm going to have a meeting in the boardroom. My dear buyer, don't think about Africa. You are the one who tarnish Africa. I am not African. I am Australian. But you're asking CIF. You are the one who tarnish the country. That is the reason why Conakry Central Bank is very, very strict. Now, I'm talking to Conakry because I'm here. You cannot get the gold in Conakry without full payment. You cannot. You put the money transfer to the Central Bank because the Central Bank will see the info of the seller. So while I'm here, talk to Wilhelmina. I'm going to go back to Australia on March 6th. I'm going to fly to Sierra Leone tomorrow. I have an Australian buyer I have to welcome because the Australian buyer, he paid my extra service. And this buyer as well from Turkey, he's coming in two weeks' time. I have to go back to Conakry. He showed me his proof of fund, $2 million. He's a jewelry manufacturer, and you guys... Small timer, oh, send me the business registration of your seller. No, I'm not going to release it unless I'm going to interview you live. I will challenge you, Mr. Baya. I will challenge you. So now, I'm here in Conakry, Guinea. We have the gold. The purity is 95.96. The carrots is 22.50, which is, which is 23 carrots. Now, Mr. Bayer, you're watching me. Convince Wilhelmina. I don't know you, but you already met Wilhelmina. Send me your business license, your identity. In Conakry, Guinea, they are very, very strict. You send your passport copy and your ID. Because in the immigration, my passport, the, the visa has been attached on the passport. Once you come to... Conakry, Sierra Leone, or Mali, you're going to get the landing visa on arrival visa. There is $100 to pay. In Conakry, we will give you free. Uh -huh. We will give you free visa. You don't have to pay at custom. You don't need to, to pay. I will challenge you. As long as you convince Almina that you have available on 20 kilos. Now, the gold today, I will go back to the world market. Mm -hmm. The world market gold today, okay, is 51. Just a moment. Okay. $51,000. Okay. Uh, 50923 25 It's almost $51,000. Okay. Now, you are buying unrefined. Don't be confused. So, oh, well, I mean, why your, your gold is expensive? You're buying expensive items, right? Now, you're buying unrefined. 
the 50,000 or 51,000 is refined. There is a serial number. Without unrefined, there would be no gold volume at all. Now we reduce it, our selling price is less 5%, you must remember. Now, today, I'm meeting two buyers. I'm going to challenge these two buyers. I'm going to buy them lunch or dinner. Now, 51,000. Our selling price is 5%. Minus uh, 51,000. Our selling price is $48,000, 450. Do you have $48,000 per kilo in your bank account? Our minimum order is 20 kilos. Right. Times 20. Do you have this in your bank account? If you can show that, then I will believe you're a buyer. I will believe it. Now you're going to say, well, Amina, 5%, can you give you a high, let, high uh, discount? Yes, I will. I have the power to say yes or no. You must remember. Mm -hmm. I am the international marketing manager of the company, Mali, Conakry, and Sierra Leone. So I have the power to say to the seller, give this buyer a very good deal, provided the buyer meet the criteria. Now, the full corporate offer is in here. It is in here. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Buyer, if you are watching me that you are here in Conakry, Guinea, come and see me in this hotel, five stars hotel I'm staying. Mm -hmm. I will buy you lunch and dinner. I will take you to Avenue Hotel, Avenue Restaurant, the expensive restaurant in Conakry, Guinea. French restaurant. Yeah, last night the restaurant is really full pack because it's Valentine's. And even though it's full pack, when the owner saw me, oh, Mrs. Ford, you're back again. I said, yeah, I know. They give me a table even though I don't have any reservation. Don't you know how powerful am I? My seller in Conakry is running for president, you must remember. Don't muck around with, the, with us here in Conakry, Guinea. Don't hesitate that, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't have a security guard. Mm -hmm. You people are scared, therefore you don't have balls in your pants if you're scared. Yeah, you don't have. I'm a woman, I have the courage, I don't have any security guard because of you. we're not going to scam you. You are going to scam us because you're asking for cheap price. Gold is not cheap. Mm. So now, tomorrow, I'll be flying in Sierra Leone for Diamond, Australian buyer. He fly to Brisbane to see me. Mm -hmm. He's a buying Diamond. And he has no hesitation. He showed his proof of fun. He's buying Diamond. When I travel to Africa, I do charge my extra service. If you cannot afford to pay my extra service to accompany you, to be with you from day one to the end, to me, you are not a buyer. Now, I'm challenging you. I'm here on the ground. Come with Wilhelmina. I'm not going to charge you my travel cost. But if I'm going to return to Australia next month, and then you want to buy gold and diamond, yes, I do charge my travel cost. I'm very, very expensive as well. Why? You're buying expensive items. Mm -hmm. Going back to Dubai, yesterday, I went to downtown Dubai. I disguised, and I walk into the store. There's so many Indian restaurants. I uh, dressed the uh, owner of the owner of the jewelry shop. You know this Indian agent? They grabbed me. Come on, madam. Come on, uh, have a look on the jewelry. I said, No, I'm not a buyer. I'm just a window shopper here. I walk in. I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Mrs. Ford from Australia. Ah, oh, you have a nice jewelry shop. Hmm. Where the gold coming from? Would you mind if I'm asking? So, madam, I know you are. A gold seller. I said, how do you know? The way you ask question. Our gold is coming from Africa, madam. Wow. And I told him, wow. So do you need the supply? Madam, we are still hungry. Because their business, people are queuing to buy jewelry. Can you imagine that? Mm. And you guys asking cheap price and you want to become instant millionaire. Ah. So our selling price it's less five percent you must remember but when i travel with you because i charge my extra service to buy my ticket my travel insurance my hotel accommodation i will give you extra three percent in total of eight percent in dubai 
There's so many smugglers bringing gold. We sell it to Dubai of 2%. Which one you like? We give you 8%. You travel. You build your trust with us. And you are buying to a main source of gold and diamond. But we are not giving you cheap price. There is a value on it. You are buying precious item. Mm -hmm. You must remember. Now, around 10 o'clock, I would be live again. Because I'm going to show the gold that the buyer, the big company in Dubai, that I've been communicating, he want to see my seller's office. I said, yeah, I'm going to show you live. I already arranged it. At the moment, my seller have 350 kilos of gold. But these 350 kilos of gold will not last. But if you miss it, we have still plenty of gold. Because my seller owns seven concession. He produced gold direct from the mine. You buy it, we can supply. If you're hungry, we can feed you. So I hope you don't be annoyed with my straightforward language because I done it purposely. Because you're a bargainer. Mm -hmm. In Dubai, when I went to Dubai, I make a jokes. I said, can I bargain it? No, madam, this is, there is no bargain. Can you imagine that? I throw back to you in front of you guys. You're buying gold from us, and then you bargain, bargain, bargain. But when the gold and the watch is finished over, finished product, when you ask bargain, what the price is the price. That is why I went to downtown Dubai. Mm -hmm. I introduced myself. I was not scared. I even say, hey, I am from Australia. I'm going to Africa because I have a buyer. Where the gold coming from? Africa. Now going back to diamond. Guinea has the diamond and Sierra Leone. My seller produced diamond. Mm -hmm. There was one buyer from Melbourne. Mm -hmm. He said, Madam, I saw you on YouTube and Facebook. I like the diamond. I said, I said, okay, you like it? And we are the buyer, I see. So what do you want from me? You already saw it. Oh, madam, I want you to send your seller's mining license. No, I don't know you. You convinced Wilhelmina that you have proof of fun. You already saw it on Gold Trade Worldwide. That's my online store. Mm -hmm. What you see, what you get. And he was saying, oh, I want to, to know your seller. You know, you meet Wilhelmina live. And he's from Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I'm from Brisbane. So what else your problem? And so, you know, there's so many scammers. Then you are one of the scammers because you're asking discount already. Mm -hmm. I let him go. Mm -hmm. I let him go. Another guy from United Kingdom. He said he has an office in Sierra Leone. And he saw the, the video of Diamond. Because I have three different sellers in Sierra Leone. Madam, tell your seller to bring Diamond into our office. I said, no. We don't know you. You never know you're a hold upper. My seller has an office. My seller has an exporter office. You inspect the stone to the exporter office. That is why tomorrow I'm flying to Sierra Leone. I'm going to welcome this Australian buyer that he paid my extra service. Now, I'm in Conakry, you don't need to pay extra service, but you have to convince Wilhelmina. Show me your bank statement that you have million dollars, the value of your gold, your order. The diamond, we don't sell small item. The minimum is $100,000, minimum. This is the instructions of my seller. Now, I have a buyer from Europe, he's coming. He's coming to buy diamond. And he already been in Conakry. Mm -hmm. He's going to buy repeat order. Can you imagine that? You guys say, oh, it's come, it's come. You're one of the scammer. You are. Especially everybody knows me. They don't like you. They don't like me. You know why, why you, don't, you don't like me? Because you don't have the capacity to convince us. That is why the African seller hired Wilhelmina. You know what my seller was saying? Tell the world, Wilhelmina, they're all scammers. Asking for cheap price, especially Indian. Mm. Yeah. Two Indians in Dubai, I um, invited them for a cup of coffee. They're very tough. Yeah, they're very tough. And he asked me, how, um, how could you guarantee? Well, I don't know you yet. 
and how you can guarantee that you will not default the payment how the guarantee is i will invite you i will take you to africa right now tomorrow but we need to invite you i don't know you uh -huh. so that was a strike number one you know after our conversation the indian guy said i love the way you talk i said well you guys are bargainer gold is not banana even banana you go to wallace and calls the price of banana whatever the price of banana that is the price you pay in the counter the gold here i am very very kind i pressure my seller yesterday he doesn't want to deal with you guys on five kilos 20 kilos minimum i said later on let the buyer try on five or ten kilos then second shipment 20 50 kilos and suddenly my seller he think very fast i said i am here to educate you i strike my seller my seller said okay wilhelmina i will leave it to you as long as the buyer pay cash now he agree now how are you able to get the gold out of the country in conakry emirates airline five times a week mm -hmm. in dubai every two every week two to five tons of gold arrive in dubai coming from conakry guinea according to my seller yesterday mm -hmm. so the payment must be in the central bank to the seller's bank account my seller has a bank account mm -hmm. so when your payment fully paid then the central bank will contact the seller because there is a new regulation the info so the seller's name is registered at the central bank so before you're gonna transfer the payment in central bank you come to the office first you look at the gold you see it right if you are wise bring gold tester you can buy that online just like a gun you like it then you make your partial down payment not a front just like when you buy properties in australia you sign a contract you make a deposit of 10 to 15 percent in australia i'm the one who introduced here eh? when you look at the gold you make a commitment in your down payment within this day let's say today you make a down payment of ten thousand. you will be given a receipt so don't be scared your mentality is oh i might the seller might be scam no you will not be scam because i am with you mm -hmm. so then you will be given a receipt you transfer the balance to the seller's bank account in the central bank so the gold stays at the central bank so when your payment will be clear then the seller will process the paperwork because the seller has an obligation to remit the value tax to the government then the central bank will all issue all the paperwork that the, your money is clean then that is the time the gold will be brought by the armor card to the custom area if you want to hand carry it then we'll hand over then the custom will look at your custom clearances that you are the buyer and you paid then it will be hand over exactly last year exactly the same the malaysian buyer got the gold from us i was in the airport uh -huh. my seller and the buyer was in custom and he sent me a text madam thank you very much i'm happy with your services he paid for my services yes but you guys you are just plotting around online how much is the discount how much is my commission i don't deal buyers and um, brokers anymore i don't 2020 no more i've given everyone an opportunity if you're acting on behalf of your buyer that is your responsibility your buyer is paying you mm -hmm. we give the buyer a good a good discount if you're acting on behalf of your buyer so your buyer is paying you yes because you are just time waster you are tarnishing africa i'm here in africa to to repair the damage there's so many scammer ghana is notorious right now yeah they're importing gold from mali from conakry from Sierra Leone, from burkina faso from from togo because ghana is short supply now mali Sierra Leone, conakry is not saturated but if you come 
on WhatsApp, Madam, I'm in Africa. No, I'm not interested to deal with you because I don't know you. I need to screen you. You already saw well, Amina, so why are you going to be scared for? No one will uh, kidnap you. You will be kidnapped if you are not guided properly. Yes, you will be. Yes, I can guarantee you 100%. But if you're guided properly, if you're watching my video, 100% guarantee you will get what you are looking for. Yes. Now, around 10 o'clock, I would be in the office. I'm going to explain the map because there was an investor that I said to my seller, don't sign a contract. That the investor taking advantage of my seller. I said, don't. And my seller said, why? You own, the, you own the land. You have a huge deposit of gold and diamond. These foreigners, I am a foreigner, but I hate foreigners. Why? Because you are trying to um, cheat this African because of their color. I told my seller yesterday, you know what? I really hate my fellow foreigner. Why? I can see that they are here to steal your asset. And then when they resell it, they become instant millionaire. And your people are still starving. I am here to, to help you guys. I am here to help both buyers and sellers. You, Mr. Buyer, you still get the profit. I can assure you. I can guarantee you. But fair is fair. Mm -hmm. Especially Indians are really to notorious bargainer. Yeah, notorious. Chinese. You know the hotel, or the owner of this hotel are Chinese. Chinese are everywhere here in Conakry. You must remember. Last year I stayed in the other hotel owned by Chinese. They're mining bauxite. They're mining gold. They're mining emeralds. They're mining diamond. They bring it to China. Then they're going to bring it back to Africa and lend the money as a loan. And I told my seller, my gosh, you're still sleeping giant, guys. So why? I can see it. This is lots of foreigners. You, Africa is rich in natural resources. It doesn't matter if we are both fellow Australian. Fair is fair. I can give you a very good deal. Fair is fair. Right. My seller is working so hard. He has people to feed. And you, as a buyer, you want to sell it, you do the cutting and then 100% profit. You can sell it to New York, 100% profit. Mm. And you're buying very cheap. I said to my seller, this foreigner are a cheater. That's why the Africans are getting revenge. Yes. They will chop chop you if you are not very careful. Yes. Mm -hmm. They make a revenge because they hate you guys because you are a bargainer. You are. So now I'm telling the truth. Eh? Don't be scared with my language because I am here with you if you are really a real buyer. I am with you. So I'm going back to Australia. Once I'm in Australia, yes, I will charge you my travel cost. I am here in Conakry. You don't pay my travel cost. But there is a question mark. You convinced Wilhelmina that you have a business license and proof of fund, million dollars. We have diamond here. I will show you the diamond produced by my head office. I will show you. Mm -hmm. You don't need to say, oh, well, Amina, I will bring the diamond to the hotel. No, we don't do that. I will ask my driver to pick you up. If you're scared because my driver is black, I will come and pick you up with my driver. And I will take to the office and you will see the office owned by my seller. My seller has seven companies. Seven. So he's not poor. He's not. You know what my seller was telling me yesterday? Buyer come to our country, they're hungry to buy. I said, yes, you're also hungry to sell. And the buyer is hungry to buy. Wilhelmina is also hungry to service. Both of us are hungry. They're laughing at me. Yes, they're laughing at me. So three of us, you're a buyer, you're hungry to buy the supply. The seller mining, they're also hungry to, buy, to sell. They hired Wilhelmina to market it. So I'm feeding you. Both of us are hungry. Does that make sense? Thank you very much. I'm going to have my breakfast. Okay? And you will see the live again when I'm in the office. You will see the gold. Now, Mr. Buyer, you're watching me. Don't be scared with Wilhelmina. Don't. Don't think about negative. Don't. Remove your doubtful. You meet Wilhelmina. 
remove that. I will take you. I can guarantee you, you will get what you're looking for. But if you say, if you're doubtful, <laughs> I'm also doubtful. But anyway, I'm going to greet some spark from Gold Coast. I know some. I met some in Brisbane. We're gonna, we have a uh, lunch at a coffee club in Stratpine. Barat, thank you for watching my live video. And Bajid, thank you. And how, is, how, many, how many people watching? And Takil, thank you for watching my live video. And Gladys from, from Gold Coast, from Sunshine Coast, thank you for watching my early live video. I don't know what, how much, um, what time is in Conakry right now. Just a moment. Conakry. Because my watch is not yet uh, uh, changed to Conakry time. Now, in Conakry, Guinea, right now, it's 7.18 in the morning. In Australia, it's 5.20 in the afternoon. Yeah. So I think, guys, I explained to you about how you're going to get the gold. Now, I'm going to recap. The full corporate offer is in here. When you come to Wilhelmina, you need to introduce yourself. My name is not high, you must remember. Mm -hmm. So, hi, Wilhelmina. I saw your video and I read the full corporate offer. It's in here in front of you. And then when you read it, you send a letter of intent to buy coming from you. This is the policy. When you send a letter of intent, attention to Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina would know which seller I'm going to put you. Yeah? Now, I would like to invite you to click on Gold Trade Worldwide page. Now, today, you, first day in the morning on January, uh, February 15, I'm in the hotel, and then I will be in the office. I will do the presentation about the gold because the buyer in Dubai, a big company, is asking me to show the gold. They said, yes, I will do that. Uh -huh. And I will also show you the diamond. Now, we don't send manifest anymore. We don't. What you see, what you get. Just confirm which picture so that I could go back to my seller whether that picture is still available. Then I will give you the price. Mm -hmm. So I hope you understand my explanation. You know what? If I am the buyer, I would not ask question. I will just read it. Because my seller never taught me. I'm the one who implement this like Australian, the way we sell properties. I'm in real estate. Right. And the seller said, oh, come, come, come. They would not explain to you. That is why you have been scammed. That is why you have been cheated. Because the seller didn't give you the full information and the seller give you vague information. Today, you don't get vague information. Today, in front of you, you get the full inform information worth a million dollars. Worth a million dollars. So if you are a buyer today, you don't need to float around. You don't need it. Too many brokers, how much is my commission? Or can you look after me? Well, I'm sorry, guys. 2020, you're no longer. I've given everyone an opportunity. 2019, 18, 17, they have not even closed the deal. I decided to remove you guys. Now, the sale is going through. All right, and the buyer is happy. Now, there was a guy from Qatar. He's going to see me in Sierra Leone and said, no, one at a time. Because I give the buyer nine working days to be with the buyer. Because I make sure that when the buyer arrives, I welcome the buyer. And when the buyer leaves the country, I have to be in the airport. Buying diamond, you need a key PC. Yes. So, Mr. Buyer, what else are you waiting for? We are now February, you must remember. And there is a prediction of gold. that Gold will turn to 1,900 per ounce. I will get my calculator. 1,900 times 32.15. This would be the price, Mr. Buyer. And then you keep on floating around in social media. We are now on the internet superhighway. $61,000 per kilo. Now, I will give you a very good deal, provided 
you convince Wilhelmina. Don't be scared with Wilhelmina. Once you know Wilhelmina, you are a winner. You're already a winner. I've given you full corporate offer online. You don't need to float around, send me the ipsy or no. You read it. Then you come back. Then we can do business. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good morning. Greeting from Conakry, Guinea.